Hey guys, welcome to Bitglen again. So, another late episode. I've just started recording and it's 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> I need to start going to bed earlier, guys. <laughs> um, today I've just been really busy Christmas shopping and stuff like that. Um, it was the last day I had to do it. So, as a man, I've left it to the last minute because a lot of the shops are shut on Sunday here in the UK. So, today and tomorrow is the last time to do it, really, and I've still got to buy some more. Anyway. You haven't come here to listen to me moan about shopping. That's insane. Um, I haven't really been checking the markets as much as I normally do before I make one of these videos because I've been out since about 9 o'clock this morning um, and I literally got home about an hour ago. So I've been out for a good 14 hours. Obviously, my friend Nathan, he gives me updates as throughout the day goes. And he was telling me, obviously, everything was crashing and burning. <laughs> All panic. Ah. Um, but I said to him, actually, this is the best time to buy. I mean, even earlier, he texted me saying that Bitcoin went down to about 12 and a half K. Um, and I was thinking, God, if it does go back up to 20, 21 grand, I'll be thinking, God, I wish I bought some at 20, 12 grand. <laughs> um so they got me thinking, actually, what's, what do you guys think? Obviously, these are all on a dip at the minute. They're all at sort of like the the lowest point that they'll probably be over the next few weeks, maybe months. So which one do you think has the most to gain? So Dash, if we look at, that was generally worth around 1,600 it was heading towards. Um, so there's about 500, no, about 400 quid there to be had. But what's that in percentage? Just about, well, that'd be about 30% or something, I assume. Um, IOTA's down, but not much. Um, I think actually it was worth $5 at one point. Um, Ripple, Ripple seems to be doing all right, actually. Um, hasn't really gone down much. <laughs> it did for a little bit, but it went back up. Then we got Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash was heading towards four, four no, it hit over, over four thousand dollars I believe um, so that has a grand and a half to make back if it was to get back to where it was but that was with the news that it just joined coinbase as well so whether it'll go back to those levels I don't know Ethereum was the biggest one that one was down to five hundred and ninety dollars just a little while ago and uh, might have been less actually now I thought oh god that's you know that was at what eight fifty um, at one point so I thought that one's got about two, three hundred quid to make back. And that's sort of 40, 50 percent if you look at it, what it's worth now. Or what it was worth, sorry. Um, and then you've got Bitcoin. Obviously, if it goes back to being worth sort of 19 to 20 grand, you're talking about a seven grand swing, which based on the prices right now, because remember, you have to base it on the price that you paid for that coin. So if you paid... 13,000 for it and it goes up to 21,000 you have gained not gained but obviously it's gone up six grand which if you base six grand on top of what you bought it for or take it away that's almost 50 percent so if you was to put a thousand pounds into bitcoin right now um you could almost double your money or at least 50 percent extra so there's a lot of money to be had here, guys. Um, but obviously, again, it's come at a, a, for me personally. I reckon I could probably put in a couple more hundred, but um, obviously Christmas, New Year, and I'm going on holiday. So, um, bit of a bad time, I suppose, but I'm, I, do, I'd, I feel like I'd kick myself. if I Even if I bought £100 worth of Bitcoin at 13 and a half grand, at least when it went up to 21 grand or something, I'd be like, do you know what? I bought that when it was 13 and a half, so I've made quite a good you know, swing there. But um, Or Ephraim. Ephraim's a good one to have, I think. I think that's got the highest potential, like percentage. But let me know what you think. Comment down below or send me a message what you think has got the highest uh, potential profit-wise. Um, that's it, really, for the market. So it's all down, but I'm pretty confident. Someone sent me a comment on YouTube. Um, 
and it really made me laugh actually. And it was, uh, I mentioned the other day, I'd love it if people called me out on predictions that I make earlier on compared to where they are now, because obviously I forget what I said like three weeks ago on a video, because obviously everything, literally this market changes every day. Um, oh God, how do I get to my, I should really plan these out. Um, community. Yeah, he commented saying 20k a coin, huh? So I said in the video, um, obviously Bitcoin's going to be worth £20,000. And I think I said, especially over Christmas, and obviously now we're sitting here at 13. <laughs> Way off. But I said to him, there's still time. Now this market changes so quick and so much that... Um, I, w I would say, I mean, I would say give it two or three days, but then you're talking Christmas Day. I don't know. Maybe Christmas Day might shoot up. You, you just don't know, do you? I've never seen a Christmas Day with Bitcoin, have you? You know, so I reckon it will go up. Um, we're already seeing that. It's gone from 12 and a half to, what was it at now? 13.8. So it's gone up 1,500 in the space of about an hour. So it's not, I don't think it's going to take, you can see there it's on the up again, so I don't think it's going to take very long guys to get back to where it was, so I could still be right with my prediction, 20k by the end of the year, um, I'm still feeling pretty confident about that to be honest, even though that's at 13k, but let me know what you think, call me out if I'm wrong at the beginning of the year. Um, so that's the market's pretty much covered, hash flare, um, They've changed their withdrawal thing now. So uh, Bitcoin withdrawals are enabled in test mode with the minimum uh, withdrawal amount set to 0.1 Bitcoin. Um, so trying to, before it was a higher amount. So if you wanted to get your Bitcoin out, you had to wait until you hit a certain amount. But now they're trying it with, um, with lower amounts. But obviously with their new uh, payment provider that they use or whoever I don't know I haven't worked that out yet but um, I just wanted to I was thinking actually with the price of Bitcoin dropping so dramatically are these contracts still worth it are they worth it so obviously I feel that I got in at a good time I paid a low amount for the contract and the Bitcoin price was very high so it was very profitable it was about five times your money or let's say four times your money really so if you put in two grand you'd probably see a return of £8,000 within a year. That's what they predicted in their, their thing here. So for me, I'll put in 1600 I've reinvested my Bitcoin every day. Now I've got up to 17 terahash. Um, so now it's saying I should earn 11000 So for me, that's 10 times my money. But that's no good to you sitting there watching this video thinking, Glenn, are them hash fair contracts any good? Should I do it? Should I join up to them? I don't know. I've registered. Should I bother? So let's have a little look. And again, I always try and be as honest and transparent as possible. I don't, I'm not endorsed by Hashflare. I don't receive any commission or anything like that. I'm just literally presenting the facts as they are. If I feel saying shit, I'll say, guys, I think this is shit. Like I actually mentioned in my video, I think that USI tech is a scam. And I was watching a video earlier and they were saying that in certain states in America, they're trying to um, close it down. So I got it spot on with that one. I've got a feeling BitConnect, they're going to run away with everyone's money at some point. Um, we'll see if I'm right with that. Um, what's the other ones? There's quite a, f there's so many scam things out there. I just seem to, not that I get it right all the time, but I have a good feeling about things. You know, like, I had a really good feeling about Envian, and I'm, I remember telling all my friends about it, and I told you guys about it. I said, I'm really excited about this Envian. I did tons of research. I fucking, I just got a good feeling for them as well, like just the things they were saying, how they presented it, um, the way that they were covering themselves uh, legally, and when you see companies putting in more effort than they have to, then that makes you think, why are they doing that? They must be either very confident in themselves, or they're covering themselves for backlash later on. Anyway, I believe Envian is on target to be one of the most successful ICOs of all time. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. That's just saying I read on Medium. I, I can't find the link now, but um, they've raised 30, 
I think it was 37 million in the space of a weekend. Um, might say on the front page actually. Uh, oh, sorry, I was way off. 31 million point seven. That's where I've got the numbers mixed up. So 31 million within a weekend. I assume obviously that's going to slow right down now because you had this massive influx of people that were really interested in it and that's going to slowly steady off. But they've got until the 14th of January. But in between that, I don't know if they maybe thought of this. Maybe they should have done it a month earlier. Um, obviously now they've got Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, a few days and then you've got box, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. These are all times where people want to go out and spend money, either going out on the lash, presents, uh, going out for meals, uh, work dues. I feel like this is maybe a bad time to set up a ICO because they're trying to obviously market crowdfunding and obviously millions of people all over the world are all spending their money on other things. Whereas say in November or maybe in January or not January is probably a bad month as well, but maybe February, so I don't know, something like that, maybe a different month would have been better, but who knows, That obviously there's more cleverer people working there than I am, um, I was actually thinking about buying more of these tokens, because that Delta thing really threw me off, because it sounded that they could be worth 11,000 tokens, it sounded today, because uh, obviously it's all gone down, it sounded the tokens are worth $8, which is still... <laughs> It's still about 11 times my money, so still means technically I've got about 11 grand. But I just, I don't believe those figures. I don't know where they've got that from and I can't work it out. I might have to message them or something and say, how have you actually got to this valuation of a token that is still in the pre-sale phase? Anyway, if that is the case, I'll be laughing and obviously I'll be telling you guys all about it. But anyway, that's enough of Envian. So is Hashflare still profitable? Because I went, I got a bit sidetracked there. So what I've done is I based it on a thousand dollar investment. So one, that was the closest I could get to a thousand. You can see that it goes from 990 to 1012. That gets you 4.6 terahash. Um, so if we put that in the calculator, 4.6 4 terahashes, which is 4,600 gigahash, no power costs. Um, pool fees, I've put a 14.25 because that's what I've worked it out to be. Um, block rewards the same. I actually changed this because it said something silly like 15,000. And as we saw there, the uh, let's, let's do it based on what it is right now. Uh, oh, it's gone up to 14. Damn it. Wish I'd bought some <laughs> when it was 12. Um, so let's change this actually to 14,000. because that's what it is, and our expenditure is £1,000. Let's actually change that because it was actually $1,012. Calculate. So now we're looking at earning $7.41 a day. That's after all the hash flares fees. Um, $51 a week, $2.20 a month with an annual pro. Uh, Profit of 2,706. So that is just over double your money. Um, it's actually 2.5, well, it'd be 1.5 your money, wouldn't it? Or 2.5, I don't know. But you, you're doubling your money um, and a bit. Now that's if the price don't go back up. Obviously, if Bitcoin goes back up, and let's say that before the end of the year, it is worth, I don't know, 18,000. Let's calculate that. It says you'd earn 3,500. So then you're tripling your money. So it all depends on the Bitcoin price and obviously the difficulty rating, um, which obviously changes all the time. But that's the facts there. That's what well, I say facts. That's Coin Wars's calculator, which is normally pretty good to be fair. Um, Still really good investment, I think. If someone come up to me and said, Glenn, give me a thousand pounds and this time next year I'll give you three and a half thousand pounds, you'd bite their arm off, wouldn't you? You'd be like, yeah, of course. Um, and then that's if the coin doesn't keep going up in price. I believe that Bitcoin will be worth a lot more than 20,000 this time next year. So I believe that figure is going to, you might four or five times your money. Um, so 
I still think they're very profitable. Um, even with that is with their prices going up. So I doubt their prices are going to go up anytime soon because they've only just put a price increase up. That's if you the difficulty stays as it is, but then also if the coin goes up in value again. Um, obviously now it's at 18, or <laughs> I believe it's going to go back up to about 18,000. Um, but let's say if it was worth, I don't know, 35,000 so let's say it goes up 15,000 pound more in 2018 then you're looking at six and a half times your money um, which is insane really that's but that's all ifs and buts so just bear that in mind obviously we can only base it on what actually is happening today and as of today Bitcoin is worth um, 14,000 right now and that's how much. So you're looking at doing time, sort of doubling your money and a bit more. So, um, yeah, I still think it's really good. I think it's really profitable. But could you make more money elsewhere? That is the question. Where's the best place to go? If you're buying Bitcoin at that sort of price, could you double your money in, you know, literally in the next few days? Ooh, tough one. Um, the other thing that I'm looking at guys and I, I'm not going to go into too much of it tonight because it's quarter past 12 now and I want to go to sleep but I found this website called coinschedule.com and uh, basically it's got a list in order of well, I don't know if they're in order but it's got a list of all the ICOs that are up and coming or a lot of them um, and you can actually click on them. So this was one I was looking at. Um, Spective ICO. You can click on it. It tells you about the um, what they're trying to do, how much money they're trying to raise. You can click the link here and it takes you straight to the website. So you haven't got to actually search for them. Um, gives you a little description of them. Their team. Some of them, I noticed were a lot more in depth. They had like videos, pictures. There you go, look, that one's got a video of it. Um, there you go, look, actually breakdown of what they think they're gonna pay you. And I know it's a lot of information all condensed into a nice, easy website. So um, I'm gonna spend a bit more time with this. Now, this is where I think that I'm gonna make, you know, a decent chunk of money. So. I think the hash flare for me is going to be mining my coin for me. I'm going to accumulate the coin. Um, this, I think, is going to be more of a buy an ICO in the pre-sale stage because it tells you on here. Uh, one of them must have ended yesterday. One of them said on there, still in the pre-sale stage. And we clicked on it and it was like, you bought it for like 30 cent a coin, a token. And I thought, God, even if that goes up to 60 cent, you know, you're doubling your money. Um, same with this Envian. Obviously, I've bought them for 70 cent a share. Now, obviously, they're going to go for sale for $1 um, within the next few days. So in my head, technically, even if they stay at that price once they hit the exchanges, I've already made 30%. Do you know what I mean? So my £1,000 I put in should be worth 1300 instantly. That's if, obviously, the price of the token doesn't plummet. But um, I don't know. I thought, oh, getting in the pre-sale stage of these ICOs is quite lucrative. So that's something that I'm looking at. Um, I know a lot of you messaged me saying, Glenn, what do you think about this ICO? Now, with this is my trouble. <clears throat> when I invest in something, one, I do a lot of research. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I read a lot online, I check out all their website, I try and go through all the contact us page, I try and message them. Message them. Um, it'd be nice if they actually had something up and running that you can sort of look at or check out or something. Um, and, then, and then obviously I sort of come to a decision whether I believe it to be a scam or whether I believe it to be something genuine um, whether they succeed or not is a completely different matter you could have the best intentions in the world but something may not happen marketing, it might be a bad time of year you could have 
I don't know, weather or your warehouse could burn down or something, you know, anything could happen. So I'm not saying, oh yeah, I know which ones are going to perform well. I'm just saying I, I get a feeling for them. And Envy and I got a very good feeling. It took me a long time to um, actually put my money into them, especially once other people started watching and monitoring what I'm doing, uh, say friends, family, and obviously you guys. Um, so for me to replicate that again, I would have to put in an immense amount of research into all of these. Unless... I just joined up to an exchange like Bittrex, which I'm trying to do at the moment, and just literally put 50 quid here, 50 quid there, and I just do that, and I just see if anything happens. If something goes up and I 10 times my money, um, I'll make 500 quid, and I can put that into something else. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? I'd rather probably do a bit of research and actually get to know a company. Um, one of the YouTubers that I was watching the other day was talking about an ICO for a porn hang on hang on <laughs> uh, a porn site that when you watch depending on what how much porn you watched you got paid you got you earned money every time you watched it um which if somehow and i'm sure a lot of men feel like this if i could get paid to watch porn all day <laughs> That would be awesome. So I thought, oh, that'd be an awesome ICO to join. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure where what that called or what. But I'm gonna find have a little research. Um, but there's a few of them on here. This coin line one looks really cool. Um, they're doing like um, a decentralized exchange, I believe, or an a wallet. But again, I've got to do, this is the thing, there's so many, and you start reading all of them, and you think, yeah, that's a good idea, or no, that's not. And then you have to go to their website, check them out, check out all their videos, check out other YouTubers, what their opinions are, then obviously read online about it, um, contact them, and all that sort of stuff. You do that with one company, and if you then decide, nah, that's not the one, then you have to start the whole process again with another one. I say, unless you just spread bet and you just literally just like, yeah, chuck some money everywhere. So anyway, that's where I'm at at the minute, guys. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. If there's any ICOs that you're really excited about, I'd love to hear from you because you guys help me and sort of give me feedback and directions what to look at. Um, and I know from this one here, this Spective one, I don't know anything about them at all, but I know about three people have messaged me saying... I'm really excited about this one. What do you think about them? Uh, I also know that, um, say like, uh, EOS, a lot of people messaged me on that, so that's opened my eyes to EOS, and now I'm keeping my eye on EOS because I'm thinking, oh yeah, a few people have mentioned this now, I should pay attention to it. So I really do listen to everything, even if all I do is like or you know, just give you a quick comment back. That's normally because I'm busy and I get a lot of messages. Um, I'm trying to reply back to everyone I can. Uh, so I am looking at everything. So please, please keep giving me all your feedback. And that's it really, guys, for today's video. Uh, not too long. I don't I don't think it is anyway. We'll find out in a minute. Um, YouTube channel's going great. I can't ask for any more. Um, although I've got one dislike there. Ooh. Um, I get loads of likes on all my videos now I get uh, loads of views sort of three, four hundreds which I never thought would happen especially in this short period of time I'm almost at 400 subscribers I think that when I did a video yesterday I was at 340 or something or 360 so it's gone up like 30 or 40 just today um, so yeah it's insane um, I really thank you I say I don't actually earn anything from this YouTube channel, as you can see here. I'm literally just doing it for all your feedback and stuff at the moment. I hope one day maybe I can monetize this channel. Um, it's said that once you hit 10,000 views, you can start monetizing it, but apparently your channel has to be reviewed, and it takes YouTube a couple of weeks, and obviously we've got Christmas and that coming up, so I'm probably not going to monetize this channel until probably January time. and I'm on holiday, so probably mid-January. And then obviously... I think you start earning money from YouTube videos from that point onwards. It's not retroactive. So the 14,000 views that I've had so far don't come into it at all. Um, but I don't know. It would be nice if I could earn, I don't know, even if it's £50 a month from YouTube, I could put that back into 
you know, buying Bitcoin or putting it into an ICO or something like that, which then could turn into something more. Um, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but I'm not moaning about that. That's just that's what's happening at the minute with my channel. Um, obviously, once I do start earning, I'll be honest with you guys. I'll show you the same screen that you're looking at now, so you'll know what I'm earning from it anyway. I'm not hiding anything. But uh, that's it, really, guys. Oh no, I did want to talk to you about saying so. I was talking to a friend, and they were making me sound really dumb. They were like, Bitcoin, well, what's that then? I go, well, it's actually, it's an online, you know, I didn't go too much into it, because it'll blow their mind. Um, I said, oh, it's this new type of currency that's online, and they're like, so you can't withdraw it from the bank? And I'm like, well, you could if you converted it back into US dollars, but it's mainly for online. Nah, it sounds stupid to me. And I said, why? Well, well, cash is king. And I've heard that all my life. All my life I've heard cash is king. All the time. Today I got my money out. So I actually am going on holiday, as I've told you guys. We're going to Florida, taking the kids to Disney World and all that. Um, so obviously I need US dollars. So I changed that uh, money into US dollars. Some of it we got in cash. Some of it we're leaving it on bank card. So I've got... Three thousand dollars here, and saying that struck me today when I was looking at it. Look how shit the hundred dollar. Oh, the light's not very good there. That's a hundred dollar bill in America. It's got like the word one hundred or the numbers one hundred. It looks like the old clip art that used to get on Word. You know, like Word, um, you know, fucking Microsoft Word you used to use clip art back in the day and you'd have like 10 different types of effects that you could do. Look at that. The shit that is. So it got me thinking. I said to him, like, I mean, all this stuff here, um, you know, with like pictures of their presidents or, you know, important people with the little um, gold label on it. I think that looks all right. That To me, that looks like money. But... I saw that, I thought, what the fuck? To me, that looks like game show type. I don't know. Just, that, to me, that looks like it should be in a board game or something like that. And then they were sh showing you, like they've got some of the older ones. So this is like an older, um, sorry, I'm not very good at placing things on the camera. You have to move opposite to what you're looking at. So anyway, um, yeah, you had a $50 bill. Now, there might be Americans watching this and they might say, oh, how the hell do you, um, you know, you're taking a piss out of our money, your money's fucking shit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's not just, I don't mean this, I'm not aiming this at Americans or American dollar money um, in any way whatsoever. Um, if you're from the UK or if you visited the UK recently, you would notice that our £10 notes and our £5 notes recently changed. And they're shit as well. I was thinking, these are so fake. They look so shit. Now, the point I was going to make actually today in this video... Bear with me. Got to put this back on charge, otherwise you'll cut out. Um... The point I was trying to make is, let's say, I, I mean, I don't know what the living minimum wage is in America and stuff like that, but I would say in this country, in the UK, if you was to earn, if you was to earn, I don't know, 1,500 to two grand, that's probably a month. That's, that's probably like, you know, an, a lot of people's wage that... I used to be in a job where I was on about 45,000, so I was probably earning about three and a half thousand pounds a month. But then there'll be other people that are only earning 1,200 pounds a month. So I'd say 15 to two grand is like in the middle. Obviously, then you've got people earning 80 grand a year and all that. But obviously, bullshit. <laughs> so to me, this $3,000 um, is two months of work for someone, two months of their time, 
Now that could be two months of cleaning up shit, that could be two months of wiping dishes, that could be two months of uh, whatever, whatever your job is, being an accountant, being in an office, being away from your friends, your family, yada yada, whatever. But what are you actually getting? Think about what you're actually getting. This seems like you might be watching this thinking, well, Durglin, like, you know, you're talking shit. I'm used to using my bank card and using uh, contactless now. I very, very rarely have cash. When people ask me, like my gardener, we have a gardener, he comes around, he says, Glenn, you got that 20 quid? And I always go, oh, mate, shit, sorry, I haven't got any cash out. I, I'd literally never get cash out for anything. Never. I, there's very little time. A lot of people now have um, apps that they plug into the bottom of their iPhone. So they've got a contactless <laughs> chip and pin machine on them all the time. So even like boot sales and stuff like that, you can pay by card. Um, so I just very rarely need cash. So today I've got this out. And obviously this is probably the largest amount of cash I've seen in years and years and years. Um, just because we never use it. Never use cash. And even this holiday actually, we still kept most of our money on cards. We were like, might as well just leave it on card because what are we going to do with all this cash? And I was thinking, look at it, it's it's literally, it looks like the cheapest, flimsiest bits of paper with fucking clip art writing on the end, a printed picture of some bald guy. Um, sorry, I don't mean to show any disrespect, there might be Americans watching this who feel very passionate about whoever's on there, I don't know who it is, but... Um, to me, they just it, it, your the money you're receiving uh, in the old system is uh, oh, bits of paper, literally bits of paper. So when people say to me, "Oh, Bitcoin," so you you know it's not real money, though, is it? It's not. It's not real. And I say, "Why'd you say that?" And they go, "Well, it's not. It's not real. Can't hold it." Well, you're telling me that's worth three days of your time. You'll give. You know, take the numbers off the hundred pound. This this bit of paper is worth three days of your time. Now, obviously, you could say, "Well, bit Glenn, a Bitcoin's code is that worth your time?" No, you know, really, what's worth your time, I suppose, is a new car, a the food shopping, the the gas, the electric, my laptop. You know, the house, it, these are all actual physical things that you want. Now, how you pay for that is irrelevant. You can either pay for it using bits of cheap paper, or you can use it, pay using technology through a laptop from phone to phone or whatever. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, I feel like I've been converted, guys. I feel like I. Uh, I was looking at all the, um, I went to the uh, exchange shop and it had all the different currencies and it was live updates, it was all the prices were going up and down, up and down and um, I was thinking, <laughs> no, it was telling you in British pounds versus US dollars, I was thinking, um, I wonder how much that is versus a Bitcoin, like, I, I just thinking like that while I was looking, and I even almost asked, I almost said, how much is that worth Bitcoin? And then I thought, no, the guy behind the counter are probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's a Bitcoin? Um, so I don't know, I just feel really, uh, it's going to take a long time for people to get their head around leaving this system of having bits of paper in their pocket or their wallet, because it's something they can hold, it's something that they can feel and touch, um, and obviously that feeling will never go away. I'll never be able to have a load of Bitcoin and just throw it up in the air and be like, oh, it's raining Bitcoin. Um, but you, you can have that with cash, I suppose. But I don't know, it just really struck me today, seeing that amount of cash, and I was thinking, do you know what? I'd rather the Bitcoin be in my wallet than have that cash, because very rarely use cash. But anyway, that's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you still like the cash... I'm not saying that Bitcoin's, I don't think Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies are ever, ever going to replace uh, cash outright. And if it does, I don't think it will happen in my lifetime. I can't imagine me being 80 years old and everyone's 
using just Bitcoin as their currency from day to day and we don't have cash, I can't see that happening. But what I do feel will happen is, I was thinking about it today, obviously the banks feel threatened by it. I think they'll just create their own cryptocurrency. I think there'll be the Bank of USA coin, there'll be a NatWest coin, there'll be a Santander coin, um, and we exchange them you know, the same way that we're exchanging Ethereum versus, you know, um, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and stuff like that. I, that's my personal opinion. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. So um, that's my thoughts anyway. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm chatting absolute bullshit. Uh, sorry, I've sweared loads in this video. Um, I'm tired, cranky. I've been shopping all day and I don't want to do it anymore, and now I've got to go and wrap, so probably not going to get to sleep till 2 in the morning. Anyway, thank you for taking your time, thank you for all the subscribers, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you don't like it. What's wrong with being tired or sleepy? Shut up Siri. Um, yeah, I don't particularly care about the thumbs up and thumbs down thing, um, so whatever, whatever you feel. Um, Message me with what ICOs you think are going to be the up and coming ones starting from 2018. Um, I want to, I really, I need to wait for, um, I need to wait for, oh, let's get off that, Bitcoin to go back up in price because my £500 that I had is now worth about 350 because it dropped so much. So I'm going to wait for it to go back up and then obviously convert it into whatever ICO whatever they want to take, Ephraim seems to be the most popular one. Um, and then obviously buy some ICOs. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't forget you can message me, which a lot of you do now, through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Telegram, all BitGlen. Um, I get a lot of messages <laughs> pretty much all day long now. And uh, I try and reply to everyone. Like, I really do. I try and message every single person back on YouTube. You can see here I'm up to date with all them. I've liked all the comments. I've replied to most of them. And I'm doing the same with the Telegram and Instagram, Twitter. Let's have a look at this. Uh, we'll accept that. If you're interested in trading cryptocurrencies for a profit, just holding on for long-term gains, check out Binance. They currently have this lowest trading transaction fees as well as da 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 da, da. I assume that's his referral link or something. Uh, and he's just copy and pasted it and posted it on it. Tension, inside info trading, just like one week ago, Bitcoin is crashing out down very fast. If you say now is the time to buy Bitcoin, ha ha ha, lol, go ahead and buy Bitcoin and watch your money go down very fast. Bitcoin riches is over. Ponzi scheme pump and dump has finally come early. Was supposed to be January 18, but greed came early Christmas. Bitcoin will not go up ever again. It's over. It's going down 75% plus. Many would. Do you know what? I quite like that comment. Um, he feels, I say he, I don't know if that's he or she, he feels very passionate about Bitcoin going down and being part of a Ponzi scheme. Could be. I don't know. It isn't. <laughs> um, so we'll approve that. We'll prove that one. If you had a hundred dollar Visa gift card, where would you invest it? Litecoin or Bitcoin? And he's put his addresses. Hmm. I would say right now, Bitcoin over Litecoin, because I think they're gonna bounce back and I think the profit ratio will be higher. Get token pay with bonus, cloud mining service life. Time contract ROI 80 days sign in and grab the contract. Let's click on that actually. That's worth a the future of blockchain. Create an account. Mm, I'll have to check that out. That one. Um, share to your channel. Invest in Bitcoin. Super profit. Just that just screams to me. Minor Sal, and he shared it on like three or four different videos. 
Join Hashflare to get some discount. That's a lie. So we'll delete you. I think that's, we'll delete that one. We'll delete that one. Delete that one. The real and best trusted Bitcoin mining platform, free 50 giga hash lifetime. 15% affiliate bonus, most two years work kind and paying. Crypto mining dot farm. Mm, looks like a scam. Unique Bitcoin mining platform, jet miner, 15 <laughs> lifetime bonus. This is probably the same person using a different profile. Uh, oh, that one only gives 10%. Anyway, these are the sort of things that I'm reading day in, day out, as well as all. So the ones that you actually see on my videos, I've either allowed on there or approved. Um, if your comment isn't on my thing, then I've probably deleted it because I believe it's some sort of scam. Um, obviously, when that gets too overwhelming, I won't be able to continue that and I'll just have to leave whatever's in the spam in the spam. You know, like if there's hundreds and hundreds of them, I can't sit there and filter every single one. So um, anyway, that's enough from me because I've gone on long enough. I look forward to seeing you guys. I'll try and do a video over the weekend, but it is Christmas Eve and then it's Christmas Day and then it's Boxing Day. And then I actually fly to America the, the day after Boxing Day. So I'm going to try and slip in videos here and there. There might just be very quick ones just to say what's going on and give you updates with Hashflare and Envian. Um, I'm probably not going to probably go into too much depth into any other new ICOs because I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any time between now and my holiday to actually properly look into one because now I have sort of a viewership of you know a few hundred people I don't want to be going here guys join this thing and then tomorrow it's like oh it was a big scam everyone lost loads of money so even if I was to put 50 quid into it unless I was sure that not sure but had a very good inkling that it was worthwhile. I won't recommend it to you guys. I don't. I don't want to go down the route of, you know, start fucking mentioning just random websites that just have good affiliate payouts. But it seems like it's a scam because, yeah, I might gain a hundred quid here and there if I was to do that, like a lot of YouTubers probably do. Um, but over time, I, I would like to think that people will see through the bullshit and they'll see through the lies and they eventually they'll just leave and they won't trust anything you say going forward. Um, I, w I would only recommend things that I'm actually going to spend my own money on. That's why I generally only talk about two or three things at a time because <laughs> a lot of the other shit and cryptocurrency is all fake, scams, uh so you do have to tread really carefully. But anyway, I'll try. I'll try and slip in some videos. If not, um, follow me on the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Because while I'm on holiday, it'll be very easy for me to go, oh, look, Bitcoin's at this price. Or what do you guys think about this ICO? Um, so you'll still hear from me, but maybe not necessarily see a video of me. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you want to follow me on those. Uh, they're all BitGlen. Pretty much any social media, just search BitGlen. Um and I'll, I'll hear from you guys there. See you later, guys. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you later.